Next thing, significance of change in internal energy is the next topic. So, on to expl before explaining this topic, we have to be tell about something regarding this pressure volume work. So, for that, we have to be take one syringe. I took one syringe here. This is a syringe and this is the piston. Okay, piston. So, here you know that this is the volume occupied by the gas here. Here, you just imagine this is the expansion situation now. Expansion and compression, both it is possible here now. So, if there is an expansion and compression... Uh, because of the pressure, such a type of the work, we can call it as pressure volume work. Why? Because of this pistons, when we applying the pressure over this, automatically what happens to that volume, it is reduced. When we expand, so volume, it will be increased. So, that type of a work, we can call it as pressure volume work. Because of this moment, pressure and volume, it is involving mainly the, this is one type of a mechanical work. Okay. Just assume. The W as you studied W is equal to minus P delta V. How this statement it is coming here? This is the usual equation we are using in the case of this thermodynamics. W is equal to minus P delta V. So, here how it is happening is that W is equal to minus P into Vf minus Vi. Vf means final volume because when we are doing any work over here that means expansion or compression. So, volume it will be changing there now. So, Initially what was the volume, finally what was the volume, on that basis we can write it the equation here like this, Vf minus V1, that's equal to minus P delta V. P you know that external pressure we are applying, Vf is the final volume, Vi is the initial volume. Yes, so why this minus we are giving in this equation, W is equal to minus P delta V, why this minus we are giving in this equation, there is a certain reason behind it. Just imagine this is a compression. Yes, so when we try to compress, so what will be happening here? Compress means the volume it is produced, right? Compression means the volume, that means we pressed, so volume, initial volume is more, final volume it is less, right? So this is a less value and this is a big value, clear? So if this is a condition, surely you will get Vf minus Va, that is a negative value you will get, the value. When we are doing that change, you know that the negative value it will be getting because the final volume it is a less value, uh, the initial volume it is a big value. That is why the difference between them when you are calculating, you will get a negative value. So when you try to apply in that equation, why W is equal to minus P delta V. In this equation, when you are applying minus, it's already there here, but delta V due to compression, we are getting it as minus. So, it become a positive value. Positive P delta will be getting. Because plus, uh, minus into minus, surely it is a positive. You studied that. So, just compare. So, W it is equal to positive delta V. Whether it is correct or not. According to this compression situation. Sure. Why? Because here what it is happening. Just imagine this. Inside here it is a system. Over that we are applying the pressure so surrounding is doing the work and work is done on the system here the piston is moving that means piston is a surrounding just imagine like that so piston is doing the work here over this system so work is done on the system when it is work is done on the system what do you studied the notation w is equal to a positive value so here also you got it the w is equal to positive value here now so for getting that value correctly we are giving the original equation that means the basic equation we are giving the sign like this w is equal to minus p delta v just imagine the opposite case opposite case means the syringe here the piston is here here instead of this compression we are using expansion expansion in the sense uh, here what will be happening expansion means it take this uh, piston it is moving back so what happens to the initial volume and final volume Piston if it is moving back afterwards the volume it is increased to more. So Vf value it is more compared to that of the Vi value. We studied that already W is equal to minus P delta V. Yes here after calculating this you will get delta V because Vf it is more value. That is where delta V is also is equal to positive value. So W is equal to minus P into delta V here it is positive itself so no problem. So, minus P delta V itself we will be getting. 
this expansion is what a type of work is a work done on the system or by the system who is doing the work here here you can say that the work is done by the system on the surrounding so what about this systems work done work done by the system it is a negative value you got the negative value now here in this equation okay so for getting this negative and positive in a correct way for that only we used this w is equal to minus p delta v as a basic equation so just come back to this first law again delta u is equal to q plus w that equation we studied now we discussed that w is equal to minus p delta v yes this value just apply into this first law of thermodynamics instead of this w so what will be the change you are getting delta u is equal to q plus w instead of that we used minus p delta v just assume if this process it is carried out at constant volume constant volume in the sense delta v is equal to 0 in this value if it is applying here delta v is equal to 0 in this equation so this term completely becomes zero so delta u equal to q v you are getting here delta u means change in internal energy that is equal to q you knows that it is heat at constant volume so heat may be absorbed or evolved that it is equal to delta u so such an important value you are getting from this this q v value it is possible to calculate with the help of one apparatus its name is bomb calorimeter we discussed the significance of internal energy in the case of gases the system if it is containing the gases that time only the pressure volume work it will be applicable yes so here another term we can tell it as free expansion free expansion means free expansion means uh, there is we are not applying the pressure so if this is a syringe free expansion means this is the piston so we are not applying any pressure that's why uh, freely it is expands there no so the p external pressure we are applying the zero here so when the p external it is equal to zero what about minus p delta v if p is equal to zero work it is also zero that will be work is equal to work done it is equal to zero in free expansions okay